Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people in metal shaping and have done that for many years. So I have a lot, lots of experience, but you also should know that lots of my students, they taught me a lots of stuff. And um, in these tips and tricks, I'm going to show you something that I don't know if you have used for it, but remember it, you never know when you, you need it. <clears throat> this is actually not about metal shaping, but this is a good tips and tricks. So what is this? <laughs> this is two pieces in aluminum like this. Two angles put together in aluminum and then looks like somebody destroyed it. And that's what exactly what we tried to do. Anyway, it was one of my students in Sweden. It was an old guy, I think it was an Italian guy that taught him how to spot weld aluminum. And normally it's very difficult to spot weld aluminum and you maybe need a machine that is water cooled maybe for twenty, thirty thousand dollars because they're using that on newer cars because they put more and more aluminum on the newer cars. So that's very expensive especially if you only need it a few times. But this old guy from Italy taught my, one of my students in Sweden to do it with a regular spot welder. It needs to be a 220 volt the 110 volt will not make it. So I'm going to show you how to spot weld two angles like this together. So uh, first of all, before I spot weld this together, I must mention to you that if you take the regular spot welder like this and two aluminum pieces and try to spot weld that together, it doesn't work. It just doesn't happen anything to it. It's get probably a little warm, but nothing else. Okay, so here's the trick. This old guy from Italy, he told my student in Sweden, put two pieces of thin steel on each side. So you actually have four pieces in the package, then it will make it. That's the trick. And <clears throat> the reason why we take this up to on, on a video is that I would like to pass this over to other people, a secret like this, so other people can, so we can save this knowledge for the future. Because uh, I maybe not remember for all my life, I never know. So now we make it on a video. So I put it in, in the spot welder like that, and I put my safety glasses on, because it can be little uh, aluminum that goes away. So I'm ready now to spot weld. So I, I hold the trigger now. That's it. That's how it looks like. So I'm going to make another one there. Put that in there again and put that, those two pieces over there again. And take it uh, about two inches apart there. And hold the trigger. But every time you need to move it, because it actually sticks to the metal there, the steel plate, those two plates, they stick to the aluminum, so you can't put a long strip there and, and spot weld, lots of spot welds there because you can't take the, the steel pieces away. So you need to turn that apart every time. So now you can see that we have two small well, marks there doesn't look too much but the reason why I took it in one end here now because I want to show you and see how good this is and try to take it apart I can't no I can't even do some anything to it there we go <laughs> so you see I used a lot of energy there to, to take it apart, but it doesn't, doesn't, I can't do it. So this was, is a really good trick for you that if you were ever going to spot weld aluminum together, doesn't have to do with metal shaping, but I think it's a good trick to save for the future and pass it over to other people all over the world. For more information in the future, go to www.lassimetalshaping.com.